How's it going, everyone? All right, awesome. I think we're live. Just checking this out. It's always best to double check on your phone. And if you guys can hear me, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment. All right. We'll see if we get, get some echo here on the phone. Cool. Yep, it's working. Awesome. If anyone's on here, just say hello. Uh, introduce yourselves. And it's actually, I'm in Florida. Most of you know that. It's actually pretty cold here today in Florida, but um, tell me where you guys are watching for from and uh, imagine everyone has a jacket on right now. So let's see how this is working. I wanna show my screen. So if you guys can see my screen, let me know. I'd appreciate it. I'm really excited for this, uh, for the coaching call. And it looks like my screen's not showing. Let's see how we can do this. And if you guys can see my screen, if you could, just let me know. I'd appreciate it. Here we go. That should have worked. Today, I want to, we're doing the, the coaching call about um, the content. I'm gonna actually going to lay out the content strategy for you, um, which is going to be really nice because then you can use this. And you can basically copy it um, every every week, right? Um, I see some hey Brad's in there. Awesome, I appreciate it. Let's see, I got about three screen sharings going, so let's close them all. Awesome, finally made it work. Cool. All right, if you guys can see that, uh, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna start sharing my screen right now. It's cool. You guys can see that. I can see it now on my end too. Perfect. All right, so we're going right through the days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and even Saturday. The framework is gonna help you guys be prepared. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of it real quick like this. Um, so the main thing, we're gonna start on Monday. We're gonna go through every day. If you guys have any suggestions for me, um, I'm gonna put them in on over here on the right. This will be our general framework, and then this will be the one that I already have set up as an example. So any suggestions, um, I'd love to see them. And uh, let me move you up here. Cool, maybe I can see the comments. Thumbs up, thumbs up, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, and if you guys could just tell me where you're watching from too, I would appreciate that, that'd be awesome. Um, so we're gonna go right through it, and I'm gonna explain real quick what the relationship first framework is. So it's the only thing that I've seen be successful online without having to pay for ads. Um, this is a free strategy and it actually works. It works really well for us. Um, I started a couple online businesses before, set them up, put the brand up, thought I could just post stock photos, follow what all the gurus say, and I got no business from it, um, no results. And you guys have probably seen that too. You hear the gurus, the promises, all the hype online, and the results are just, they, they just don't work. So I always like to say, how can we go through the computer and shake hands with your website visitors? I know it's kind of a funny thing to say, but if we met somebody face to face and shook their hand, they're most likely gonna sign up. So someone from Colorado, that's probably Renee, thanks for watching. So how can we shake people's hands when they come to our website or our social media channels? Um, that's one of the hardest things to figure out, but once you figure it out, it's one of the most beneficial things you can do for your business. Uh, so what happens is when somebody sees anything, any of your content, um, any of your frequently asked questions, your videos, your blog posts, your uh, social media posts, they have a small relationship with you. They see your you, your, your business, and your brand. Now, if they can see that two to five more times, they're much more likely to become a customer because they're building. you're building a relationship with them, they're getting to know you, building trust with you, and then they're much more likely to reach out. And if you do it right, they see your first post, whether it's a video, a blog post, uh, anything on like an Instagram or Facebook story, um, they're gonna see that. And then when they see it again, and again, that you're out there helping them, that's when you're gonna see the amazing results, especially when you have the call to action, like send me a message um, at the end. So let's jump right into it. I like to call mine Marketing Monday. Um, it's where you're actually giving like a tip of the week. And I do this once a week. I make a video, um, I make a post, a blog post, I send it out in an email. And it's something that's truly gonna help anyone that is coming to my business. So if you guys are in the health and fitness business, you know, giving a really good tip on people on how people can manage their, their health, their fitness during the week, 
um, something that you know will bring value to your customers. Plan this out um, on one of these days. And I like Marketing Monday because you can plan the video, you can have the blog post, you can have um, links that go back to your website, you can post on YouTube. So let's fill this out, Marketing Monday, tip of the week. I put my video on YouTube first, and then I do a Facebook Live with it, um, and then an Instagram post after, blog post, and then email automation. Now you guys don't have to do all of this. Um, I have this image down below that's empty, so if you guys wanna save it and print it off, I def definitely recommend it. Um, so all you have to do is print that off and start filling that out based on what um, social media channels you're active on. I mean, you could add Pinterest, um, LinkedIn's in here also on some of the posts, but the main thing is to plan this out so you're consistent. So now everyone that knows me knows I'm coming out with a marketing video every Monday at a certain time of the day. And if you plan it out correctly, that's when you're gonna see the results. Um, next, I'm gonna say who's gonna be posting it. Um, and then after who's posting it, who's replying. You, out, you have to reply to anyone that leaves a comment um, on those posts. So I know who's gonna post it. I know who, that I'm gonna be replying to it. I'm gonna, I'm scheduled it already. It's already prepared. And then the last two is it's personal and it's tag, tag. So I always try to tag um, somebody that we work with or somebody that I think that it's gonna help. So if that, once you tag that person, their friends and family are gonna see that, that they're working with you, um, especially if it's like a client. All right, looks like my connection is still good. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Lindsay, Scott. All right, cool. And I'm gonna have a, this will be, stay on the replay on the Facebook group also. So plan it out, have something set, and these posts right here, make sure you do them on a consistent basis. As an example, my mentor puts out a marketing, marketing video every Monday morning at 6 a.m. And I know this, he's got it planned. He does like two months worth of videos, so they're all scheduled and planned out, ready to go. And I will always go back and watch those. I've watched every single one of his videos. Now imagine if you had potential customers watching every single one of your videos and expecting and waiting and excited for those to come out. That's what's truly different between just stock photos and a brand and a personal relationship online. That's what you see is completely different. All right, so if you guys have any examples for Marketing Monday, um, you can name, we can name it whatever we want. Uh, we can change it up, but I say make it fun, right? All right, let's go to Tuesday. So mine's Testimonial Tuesday. Um, and you don't have to write in your post that it's Testimonial Tuesday. Put it in your framework so you know on Tuesday, you've gotta post a testimonial. Your whole team, get your whole team on board. Um, have it in your scheduler. I put everything in my scheduler so I'm ready and I'm prepared um, for Tuesday. I already know that I have to make a Testimonial Tuesday. So if you guys saw what I did yesterday, I did an Instagram story from a testimonial we had. Why? Because I had it scheduled and planned out. I did a Facebook story about a testimonial. Um, I, sometimes I do Facebook posts, not all the time, but I actually do them on my personal page. Now there's different times we're gonna get into uh, the difference between a Facebook group, Facebook page, and uh, personal page. And there are differences of what you're posting. So a testimonial, totally put it on your face, personal Facebook page. That's something that's personal, that has to do with you. Building relationships, right? So people can see who you're helping. Um, you can even make it as a blog post. You can use testimonials as blog posts in your website, which will also help with SEO. So now Google's saying that you're posting relevant content on your website. And then definitely put it in a LinkedIn post. So um, what I like to do is take that testimonial review, if it's on Google, if it's on your Facebook page, even if it's written or in a text, take a snapshot of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a perfect uh, picture. And I take that snapshot and I just post it on all these channels. So if you guys have any ideas for Tuesdays also, let me know. Testimonial Tuesdays mine. And like I said before, make it fun. Who's posting? Um, who's replying? If anyone says awesome testimonial or that's a great review, that's what social media channels look for is your reply, the comments adding up. So anyone that sends any type of comment in your social media channels, if you guys haven't noticed, I reply to every single one because that's gonna grow that post so more people see it. All right, checklist scheduled, yep, I was prepared, it was in the schedule. Is it personal? Yes, testimonials are definitely personal. And is it tagged? Last thing, but not, but most important thing, tag the person um, who left the testimonial so their friends and family see it also. All right, hopefully this is helping you guys. Appreciate you guys watching.
All right, website Wednesday. Mine's different because we promote websites, right? But for yours in your mind, don't put website Wednesday. Put it in your framework. Website Wednesday is to get people back to your website. Um, this is when you can actually share a link. So now I know if I go to your, your business page, if I see anything of you on social media, I know that every Wednesday you're sending me something about your website. I'm expecting it. And especially if it's potential and current clients, they'll look forward to it and they'll click on it. They are willing to do it. So if you have that planned out, you are good to go. Post the latest website update. So let's, let's say you do a blog. Do a blog every Wednesday and expect to publish it and get people back to your website on Wednesdays. Now they know that every Wednesday you're publishing a blog that's going to help them and then make sure you include the right link to that specific blog. Get them back in there. Uh, this is definitely helpful. All right, guys. Hopefully this. Yep, everything's good. I always double check. I've had webinars in the past that just go horribly wrong. And if you guys have ever done webinars before, give me a thumbs up because, or even a thumbs down, they usually don't work that well. That's what I'm doing on Facebook group. So it's pretty cool. All right, so you got the blog post, you're getting people back to the site. This is when you can post it to your Facebook business page because if you want, you can actually uh, boost it, boost the post on Wednesdays. Now, now you're getting traffic to your Facebook business page and you can advertise it to get more traffic back to the website. Now, if you just have a video, you're not really gonna get much out of boosting someone to go to your YouTube video or just watch the video. Yeah, more people will see it, but you're gonna get some bonus points from Google if you're sending uh, people from a boosted post to your website. Um, so you can also do the personal Facebook page. Um, I would recommend business page more. Um, if, if it's more of a personal post to your website, you can put it on your uh, personal page, but I would definitely say uh, the business page number one. And last but not least, LinkedIn post and article. So this is going to get major traffic back to your site. Um, any post or blog you do, make sure you're sharing it as a post and an article on LinkedIn. This is going to get the traffic. Uh, make sure you have the right links in there that go to that exact article, and you'll definitely see some good results. And then every Wednesday, I send out an email. I set up an automated email from my MailChimp to automatically go out to any prospects or even current customers uh, with the link back to the blog post. So now everyone knows on Wednesdays, I'm going to send them uh, blog posts and something that will help them. Same thing. Who's posting it? I'm replying it. I scheduled it. This is a couple different things. I need to schedule my blog post. Uh, I need to schedule my business page post, and I need to schedule my email. So make sure you're prepared. Do it ahead of time. So if you're not going to do it this, if you don't have time to do it this week, put it in your schedule and get it prepared and ready for next week or even a month. So sometimes it's overwhelming. I don't know if I can get all this done by next week. Plan everything out for February. You have two weeks, right? Even if you want to wait till the middle of February, plan it out and get it prepared so you're consistent on a, a weekly basis. All right. Is this personal? Not as personal as my other posts, um, which is fine. This is more of getting people to my website. Try to make it as personal as you can. Don't use a stock photo. Use a picture of yourself. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen mine, uh, but let me show you real quick. Hopefully this helps. Um, even though you know some of them are, are cheesy, right? I still like to put personal photos on there, which you guys will see. Nobody wants to see this picture. This isn't a real person, right? They want to see pictures of what I'm explaining, how I'm helping them. So like a photo like this, five ways to easily get qualified on line leads. This doesn't get me any results compared to a picture like this. So the personal pictures are definitely one of the most important things you can do, even if you're doing the blog posts. All right, cool. We got Wednesday down. Got a couple more. This is my favorite, actually, Thursday. Throwback Thursday is cool. Um, and I do put this in the post so you guys could do throwback Thursday. You have a ton of content. You've been working with clients for years probably. You have old pictures, maybe old videos. We've all tried doing those. Remember our first social media videos that we did? Um, they were probably awful. You can even take that and repost it and say, oh, remember the day, you know, how, how long has Facebook been around? 10 years ago on my first Facebook video, right? Throw that back. Show that where you started from, where you came from, um, the imperfections, where you started. And this adds the relationship factor to it. If you show me something you posted 10 years ago and then I see where you're at now, that, that's awesome. I think that's one of the coolest things. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to give you a follow. I'm going to share it. Um, and especially when your clients see that, 
like, wow, I've been working with this person for maybe a year. I didn't know that it was like that, you know, eight to 10 years ago. That's pretty cool how far they've come. So that's adding the relationship and personal uh, side of it. You can post accomplishments from your past. So if anything, you know, especially you've done an event, a community thing, um, anything that has to do with your business and your clients, include them in this. Um, and then that's where you're really gonna add that relationship factor on social media. Um, going down, I'm gonna skip right down to tagged real quick. So tagged, tag anyone that was in this Throwback Thursday. Maybe it's a past customer, that's fine. Tag them in it, say, remember the days. And you actually see that on social media a lot when people, um, you see like what happened last year, right? The memories and all these people like it and comment on it. So now you're even potential customers, potential leads that are following you. They're not ready to sign up yet. They see something like that. They're like, all right, these, these people are cool. Um, it just adds that awesome, uh, different, different factor. Um, like I said, no stock photos, right? This is all personal. So let's start right at the top. Make it a Facebook Live or put it right on your personal page. This is personal. You can put it on your personal page for this. Uh, put it in a Facebook story, Instagram story. People are swiping, and when they see something old, they're definitely going to stop. It sticks out to them, um, especially if it has to do with you and the clients you're working with. Um, you can post this on the Facebook business page. I say for Throwback Thursday, post it everywhere. Uh, but these are probably my top five. So number one is the personal page for Throwback Thursday. Um, who's posting it? Same thing. I'm going to reply to anyone that leaves a comment on there. It's scheduled out. I prepared it. It's personal. This is the most personal uh, thing you can do, and it's tagged. Awesome. Hopefully this is helping everyone. Everyone can hear me. Yep, good. Cool. This is like a, a disconnect. I got my phone, and I got my live up here. So if you see me looking down, I'm just making sure. All right, cool. Let's get to the next one. It's going to be FAQ Friday. This is one of my favorites. Again, I guess I, they're all my favorite, right? I think I've said that for all of them. Uh, FAQ Friday, during the week, all right, when I was running my fitness, health and fitness business, I was working with 30 to 40 clients a day, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, every half hour, I had a new client. They all had questions for me. I had so much content from those questions. So what I would do is I would take the number one question I got for the week that I thought would help the most, I would write it down, and then I would make a, a social media post about it. So my client, now we're gonna go down and we're gonna tag them, Ask me this week how to do this. So just as a general example, my client today asked me what they should eat for lunch um, it, while they're at the office. Um, so now I'm gonna use that because they're not the only ones that have that question. This is the gold here. The gold is hundreds, thousands of people have that exact same question. And if you're the expert, if you're the business answering that question on a weekly basis, people are gonna turn to you when they're ready to sign up and when they need help. So if you take all the content, you're getting tons of content, just write it down. Let's say you work with a client, they ask you a question and you're done, go write it down, put it in your phone, text it to yourself. That's what I used to do, just text it to myself um, so I'll never forget. I can go back on Friday, I can write up the FAQ, I can answer it, I can, and then I can tag them. Uh, this client asked me this, uh, this is my answer, hopefully this helped you. So you can make a Facebook video story. Um, it's, it's not gonna take you that long to answer the question. Answer it just like you answered the client face-to-face, -face, right? Um, you can call out their name if you want, if you wanna ask their permission, that's cool. Uh, but the main thing is make a quick video saying, hey, my client um, so-and-so asked me this and I thought it could really help everyone else. This is one of the main things that has grown our business is answering frequently asked questions because even in Google and social media, People are typing in those questions. Um, doesn't matter where they're located. They're typing it in and they're finding us. We're the experts, we're helping them, and I want that to be you guys. So please use your content you're using um, and just, or you're getting and just use it for your social media. So an Instagram story, a Facebook story, people are swiping, they see that. Facebook posts, you can put that anywhere. You can ask a question in Facebook groups. So if you're in any Facebook groups, or the gold is if you have a Facebook group, put a poll or question in there, right? So make sure that people are engaging with it. They're answering the question. Say, this is an FAQ, what are your thoughts? You can do anything, but there's so many possibilities with FAQs. That's why it's one of my favorites. And then after um, you answer it, if you did have somebody that asked you that question, send them a message. Say, hey, you know, you really inspired me. I made this post. 
Um, I wanted to share it with you. If you know anyone else that can help, you know, please share it with them also. So you're helping, you're answering, you're, you already have the content. You don't even have to think about the content. You just have to post it. Um, you're sharing it. You're tagging them. They're tagging other people. They're sharing it. This is one. Of, so make sure you guys are doing this at least one of the days. You can do it for the marketing Monday. You can do it for FAQ Friday, whatever works. Um, same thing. Who's posting? Write this down. Print these sheets off. You can print off seven of them. I only need five. We only do Monday through Friday and then just personal stuff on the weekends. Print these off. I put the sheet in the Facebook group. Send me a message. I'll send it to you guys. Print off five of these, six of these, right? Right in the blank spaces, what's going to work best for you. This isn't going to work for everyone. This one right here. Everyone has your own business. You have your own clients. Print it off. Write it down on your own. Give it to your team. If you have a team or any employees, give it to them. Get on the same exact page. Um, all right. So we're scheduling it. It's scheduled. We're preparing it. I text You texted yourself with that question that's prepared. Um, it's personal, 100% and you're tagged, you're tagging anyone that asks you that. All right, last but not least, the weekends. What do we do on the weekends? Don't do anything on the weekends. Don't post anything. Um, spend time with your family. I think that's one of the most important things. Uh, I always want to post something on Saturday and Sunday. We went to Bush Gardens here in Tampa, Florida um, the last two weeks. We got season passes, and I wanted to take a video and then post a picture for social media, and then I'm like, nah, there's no point. It's, it has nothing to do with anyone. So I uh, spend time with the family. Don't worry about the weekends. Um, it's not like, you know, people are, people are just scrolling through. They're not even watching anyways. But if you do want to uh, make it about your personal life, um, if you end up making a post, make it personal, it goes right along with the relationship, um, thing that we're talking about. So now we're building trust with our audience, uh, by posting it on social media on a consistent basis, tagging people, we're prepared. Uh, we look professional, but also personal. This is when you see truly amazing results. And I, I know 100% it's going to help you guys out. All right, let's go back to Friday. Cool. If this has helped you guys at all, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. That would be awesome. I'm gonna, we're going to go into some questions next. And if anyone has any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I'm hoping they're going to pop up somewhere. Let's bring them over here. And I will definitely answer your questions for you guys. Let's see here. Perfect. All right, hopefully that worked. Comments. All right, make sure you guys ask me below. All right, I have a question. What about if these titles don't apply to my business? Okay, these titles are only for you. The day, uh, the day, it looks like I switched them around. The topic and the day. Those are only applying for the back end. So nobody else can see that. Let me pull this up. All right, that should be better. All right, so Marketing Monday is only for you to know so you can kind of think about it and plan it. Um, it the customer is not going to see that. So have Monday plan, whatever you want to plan, right? But write down what you're going to post. Um, your potential leads are not going to see any of this. They're only going to see what you're posting. The number one thing is helpful tips. So like the FAQs and something that you know will help people. That's what add that as that pers personal approach. Um, and then the topic, let's see. Okay. So the next is the, the so social sharing. So I only put YouTube here on Monday. Um, technically, it, work, it can work for any day. These are just guides. And if you guys need help, like specifically planning these out, I will definitely help you with this. Um, but this is kind of just showing what, what I do. So I add even more. I do a YouTube um, where I show how to do certain things on websites. Um, I do Facebook Lives on different things. So it's not always exactly like this. So it's always good to just share, um, update it on a weekly basis. I would test it out. It, it's taken me years. I've tested like 100 things, right? Um, and I just, I keep testing. So test everything out, see what's working. See what's easiest for you to do. And I think that you're not just going to get this the first week, um, but just try to be consistent with it. That's one of the most important things I see is being consistent. Um, and that's, and then the same thing, like I mentioned before, the mentor that I follow, he posts every Monday morning at six. I know, and I go watch it. So you want your customers to know when you're posting, know what you're posting about, and they come back and watch it. 
All right, I am gonna, awesome, Th thanks Miley, I appreciate it. All right, this is the last thing. I'm gonna show you guys the framework. So the framework works, let me scroll down here. So what we do is we use content to build trust, get to know um, any potential leads online. When somebody comes into your business and you shake hands with them, they're 80% more likely to sign up and work with you that day. They're basically committed. They've either found you on Google, saw you on social media, they're coming and they're ready to sign up. When it comes to online, it takes six to seven follow-ups, not necessarily follow-ups, I call them relationship builders, uh, before they make a decision. And also not everybody has the budget and they're not always ready to sign up. On average, a website only gets a 1% sign-up rate. That's pretty bad compared to 80% face-to-face. Uh, 1% -face. online, 80% face-to-face. So my theory is, why don't we make face-to-face -face online through your social media and your websites? And some of the businesses we work with go from 15 to 30% sign-up rates online, which is huge. So if you're getting 80% face-to-face, 15 to 30% online, that's when you really see a big difference in your business. Now, use content, FAQ questions, different things on helping them, and number one is personal. Use that content to get those people to see you once, and then the goal is to have them see you two to five more times. So if somebody watches my video on Facebook, I want them to see two to five more videos of me helping before I even expect them to sign up and pay me. Awesome, thank you, Joe, I appreciate it. Um, so somebody reads my blogs, they need to read two to five more blogs before they have trust in me. There's so much gurus and hype and lies online, right? People don't trust anyone online. You have to build trust first. Um, if somebody listens to my podcast, they need to listen to five to six podcasts before they're ever even remotely interested in working with me. Um, and I think, Joe, if you're still watching, I'm sure you watch, we'll use this as an example. You, I'm sure you watch a couple of my videos before you decided to have me help you with your website. I had somebody start working with me that I followed up with for three years. It took me three years before he finally decided to start working with me. And what? how did I follow up with him? Social media post. I liked his Facebook post. I followed him on Instagram. I sent him emails on a monthly basis. And when he finally had the budget, who did he call? He called me. So how is this gonna work for your clients? Um, so same thing, here's the framework. Uh, post videos, uh, make them personal. And so if you guys want this framework, let me know, I'll send it over. But really that's, that's the main thing I'm coaching this week is <clears throat> building those relationships and making sure that you continue on a consistent basis. All right, so I think that's it for today. I don't think there's any other questions. Thanks guys for watching, I appreciate it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then make sure you guys post your comments in here if you need any help with your framework, um, I'll send it over. I'll even fill out some days for you if you want. Um, I set it up in PDF. So all I have to do is really just click this and edit. Yep, perfect. So I can fill this out. We'll print it off. We'll fill it out for you. And let me run through them real quick again. Let's see if I can pull them up. <laughs> send me everything. Awesome. Thanks, Joe. All right, weekends. We're going to throw those away. Don't do anything on the weekends. Real, Actually, before I exit out of weekends, if you do classes, um, if you do group events or community stuff, um, then you can post this stuff on the weekends. That's really cool. All right, awesome. All right, let's get rid of weekends, unless you, you're doing things with your clients on the weekends. All right, website Wednesday, FAQ Friday, marketing Monday, cool. Make sure, we throwback Thursday. Does anyone remember... Um, Anyone on here, do you remember your first Facebook video? I'll have to go back and look and see what mine was like. It's probably pretty embarrassing. So let's run through these again. Marketing Monday, so if you guys are doing um, any marketing stuff, make this about uh, what's gonna help your clients the most. Testimonial Tuesdays, Website Wednesdays, which I can't find, Throwback Thursdays, yeah, here it is, Website Wednesdays, and then FAQ Fridays, I'll send those over, awesome. All right, I wanna relate this to some of your businesses that are watching. Um, I know, uh, J Joe, I just chatted with you. You're about to have four locations. You have so much content, you probably don't even know what to do with it all. Um, so if you have a, a, put this in the scheduler, schedule them out uh, Monday through Friday, get your whole team on board. Joe, you have an awesome team. Get your whole team on board to help. Um, that way, I know that if I come and see you on social media, 
you're helping me out with something that has to do with the website that can really help me out. I know that you're answering a frequently asked question for me every single Friday. Um, and every Thursday, you're gonna post something awesome from the past, Throwback Thursday. <clears throat> All right, I know Renee's on here. Hopefully you're doing good in Colorado. Um, personal trainer, you have those clients you're working one-on-one -on -one with, but most important, you're working with the bodybuilding women, which is awesome. You're helping them, you're changing their lives, you're getting them ready for competition. Um, share their what you're giving them, telling them what to eat, their nutrition plans. Share their training plans. Uh, share their testimonials. Um, take videos and pictures of them when they're at the show. Hand your phone to somebody else and tell them to take pictures and videos of you training them and coaching them and giving them a high five after they win their bodybuilding show. Um, that's some really good content right there. Smiley, same thing for you. I, I don't know if you're still on your smiley, but you have the training, you have the clients, the testimonials. Get a video after somebody's done with a workout. Pull up your phone, take a quick Instagram or Facebook Live and just say, how was your workout today? And if and just see what their reply is. It doesn't have to be scripted. They say it sucked. Uh, that, that's even better, right? Because that means you gave them a really hard workout. All right, and I know the blanket ships are on here. Let's see, so chiro local chiropractors here. Um, we just did a coaching call at the beginning of the month and they've already started implementing this. They did a Facebook video. It was on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I went in there, liked it and commented it. Great job. And they based it all off of FAQ, frequently asked question that one of their clients were asking. That was really cool. Um, so good job with, with that, guys. What's up, Jim? So Jim, if Jim Smith's on here still, um, you do some crazy workouts. So um, one thing I noticed, I know you post a lot of like stock quotes, but you got to post those pictures of you working out some of the crazy work. Once you recover, Jim was in a motorcycle accident, but once you recover from that and get better, keep posting pictures and videos of you working out and training. It's inspiring. Um, people want to be like you, look like you, so they're going to reach out when they're ready. All right. What else? Anyone else? If you want to post your, uh, your businesses in the comments or what you do. So if you're a chiropractor, post that. If you're a trainer. So I want to go over a couple people here. Um, I'm going to talk to all right, Lindsay. Lindsay, a, a friend of ours, massage therapist. Not this is the one of the hardest ones. I've tried to figure this out. So how can you take pictures of you massaging somebody? Obviously the comp confidential part. Um, but what you can do is you can answer. You have so many questions. I know that every time during a session with your client, I know that they're asking you questions. You can do a Facebook post, a video, a story, a blog about uh, how much water you should drink after a massage. Um, stretching techniques you could do during the week in between massage. Uh, you have so much content for questions that you can use almost as a written. You're not don't necessarily have to have pictures of you, you know, giving someone a massage, but you can get on the video, maybe with a, a blank background with just the massage table in the back. Say today um, I work with this client. You don't even have to name their name. I work with this client and they asked me this and this is what I told them. This could really help you. So if you're watching this and you have any um, sports injuries or um, you have back pain, this is going to be really beneficial. I hope this helped. So there's a piece of content right there around FAQ that you could actually do on a daily basis. All right. Hey, hey Debbie. Awesome. I see you change your last name. That's really cool. All right. So Debbie's a nutritionist. Um, she works with people with nutrition. She gets thousands of questions. Um, so use those questions you're getting on the phone and online and use those as content. Um, taking pictures of if you're a nutritionist, taking pictures of what you make in the kitchen and then using that and post a long post about this is what we made tonight, but most importantly, you have a nice picture, but say why you made it and how it's gonna be beneficial. Um, that way, when people are watching, they're gonna see a really nice picture of awesome food, right? But then you're also explaining it to them, why they should be making this and wh why it's gonna benefit them. So I know you get a ton of questions about that. All right, so I think that's it. Um, let's see, we hit on a lot of this cool all right smiley appreciate it all right guys well hopefully this helped um thank you for watching this is our monthly coaching call we will have a coaching call next month in the middle of the month going over something completely different so make sure you uh watch out for the emails and stay engaged in this facebook group uh, i'll schedule it out so you can get reminded right in here so thanks again for watching now i gotta figure out how to shut this off i hope you guys have a great day